Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will start to build a decision tree for this data set using Guinea impurity. So by formula, the Guinea impurity for this data set can be calculated mathematically as one minus start from i to c well c is the number of classes in this case we have only two classes no and yes probability of i all square so first we will calculate the guinea index for age since age is the first parameter or first feature we will do the same for income student credit rating after having calculated the Gini indexes for all these four features, we can decide that which, which of these features can be uh, classified or which of, which of these features can be decided as the root of the decision tree for the classification of unseen data. So if you look at the uh, feature age, We have three values over here. Well, one of the values is youth, the other is middle aged, and the third one is senior. And if you look at the youth, we have total number of one, two, three, four, five. Well, the total number is 5 youth has 5 instances middle aged has 1 2 3 4 instances and senior has 5 instances as well and in class yes in no we will categorize them as well youth 1 2 3 3 times it has appeared in class no it is one two three right and two times it has appeared in class yes similarly middle-aged four times it has appeared in class yes and zero times in no senior has appeared uh, one two three times and yes and two times in no so let me calculate the gene index now for the feature age well first of all let me calculate the gene index for youth when age is equal to youth by formula well the youth has appeared two times in yes two divided by five whole square and three times it has appeared in no and total it has five instances well Gini when edge equal to middle age four times it has appeared in yes and total it has four instances 
zero time in no while gene index for age equals senior equals one minus when you put these values in the formula this one three times it has appeared in yes total instance is five two times it has appeared in no total instance is five so these are the mathematical equations for the gene indexes of the uh, individual values such as youth middle aged and senior in the future age now let me calculate the values of the individual values we will get to the point is the gene of age equal youth is Well, let me calculate it using the calculator 1 minus 2 divided by 5 whole square minus 3 divided by 5 whole minus 3 divided by 5 whole square minus 2 divided by 5 whole square again the result is 0 1 4 8 so Jimmy for age equal to senior again it's equal to 0 0.48 while the guinea index for age equal to middle age well it is equal to since this will be 0 and 4 by 4 is 1 so 1 minus 1 0 well the guinea value of the 0 indicates that there is, there is no impurity in this value of the edge feature that is straight away if middle aged is uh, if the value is middle aged then the class is you know the, the class is yes right the target class is yes so we calculated the gene indexes of all these three values of the edge feature now we want to have the weighted sum of uh, the gene index of the edge parameter so the gene index of the edge the entire edge feature equals 0 0.48 in this case edge equal to youth plus 0 plus 0 0.48 but we we want to have the weighted sum so the edge has five uh, when edge equal to youth youth has five instances so five divided by 14 total four instances are 14 in this case four instances for middle age so four divided by 14 since it is zero so it would have no impact and similarly 5 by 14 0.48 so when we mathematically calculate these values so the gene index for the entire feature would be the weighted sum of the individual indexes so let me Calculate it. Five divided by fourteen, multiply by zero point four eight. So zero point one seven one 
plus 0 plus 0 0.171 So that would be 0.342, the Gini index of the age feature of this data set. So this is how we calculated the Gini index of the age feature of this entire data set. In the next video, we will do the same for income and then for student credit rating. Once we have calculated the Gini indexes for all these four features, then we will compare their values and then we will decide which of the feature has to be the root of the decision tree. And uh, since we are working on the decision tree algorithm, we intend to build a decision tree so that we can classify the unseen data. So. Uh, we are building the decision tree using the Gini, uh, the Gini uh, statistical test or the Gini impurity. So this is how we calculated the Gini indexes for the first feature. That was the age. So see you in the next video.